Hi, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Um, today's video is going to be my 2018 luxury wish list video. If you watched my Q&A video, I did say I really didn't have a um, luxury wish list video to put out, or a wish list, I guess. Um, but when I sat and thought about it, once I finally started feeling better, there are several things on my list. Um, how serious I am with all of them, I don't know um, that I'll actually add any or not, but these are definitely some items I am really considering adding in. So, and a huge thank you to all of you who um, left kind comments and um, wished me feeling better. I am doing much, much better. Still don't sound that great, but feel really good. So let's get started with the list and I am going to insert pictures um, somewhere. It, it'll either be the whole screen as a picture or it'll be on the screen. It depends on how I can figure it out on any given day. <laughs> but um, the first thing on my wish list is from Louis Vuitton. I came very close to buying this last year, one of the trips that we were in Vegas, but I, I think it was around my birthday, I can't remember but I had way, way, way overbought. I had bought bags and jewelry and all sorts of stuff, so I didn't end up getting this piece. But the Louis Vuitton Emprunt Clay in the color Cherry or Cerise, however you say it. Um, I love my Rose Ballerine one, and I would like a darker colored one to use in all my Damier Ben bags and um, bags with darker colors so not to have to worry about color transfer. So that is definitely one on my list for sure. The other item from Louis Vuitton is the Capucines, and I'm not sure if I want the BB or the PM. Um, so I will insert a picture of both sizes, and I'm also not sure on the color or if I want embellishment or plain, but I think it's a beautiful bag. I tried it on several times last year. Um, crossbody and um, really was comfortable and I liked that a lot better on my frame than um, some of the other crossbody bags that I've had and that I've sold so that's what I'm considering and all the bags there's a really good chance that I'm just going to wait until Europe and see what they have there I'm definitely going to try them on um, on some different vacations prior to Europe but um, I definitely want to get something um, big in Europe to remember the trip by, so uh, I'm in absolutely no hurry on any of these. And the next one, I did mention this in the Q&A video, um, the Chanel Coco Handle in the size small. Um, it would have to be the right color. I have the medium um, black with the burgundy lizard handle, so I wouldn't want another lizard handle. I'd want it to be plain and um, not black because I think that's just way too similar. Um, they're, they're, I'll insert a picture that um, I took last year, um, last fall, right before I bought mine. There's a size difference, but it's just not massive and it's not enough to have them both in black. I was positive that in Europe I was going to pick up a medium large uh, classic flap in lambskin but when I was in Beverly Hills, they did have a small cocoa handle, but it was like a um, kind of like a green tweed pattern. It was like totally not my style, but um, when I took all my things out, I carried my medium flap that whole weekend. When I took all my things out and put it in the cocoa, they fit better and with more room. And um, I decided the two classic flaps are all I'm going to stick with and um, look into some different things. But um, that's really it from Chanel, which shocks me, but um, I'm very Chanel satisfied right now. In general, I'm very bag satisfied right now, so we will see. We'll see what happens to those. Um, the last bag that I am interested in is a Lady Dior. I have no idea what size. Um, the one I'm going to put on the screen is the personalization one. I don't know that I would um, go for that or go for more of a classic one. Um, it's I've tried them on multiple times. I've never tried my things in it to see how it fits and how the weight is. And, you know, so I really, really want to um, look at that. I think it's a beautiful classic piece and um, something I've looked at for several years. So. Um, Definitely Dior is on my list. I love, I love Dior. I really would like, and I'm trying to make myself not do it. I did good last year, but um, they have a micro canage um, 
a diorama that's kind of a metallic in a gray color. It's called onyx, but it's kind of like a hematite looking color. It's gorgeous. I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need any of these. <laughs> that's why it's a wish list. It's just for fun. And then as far as jewelry, um, I pretty much got everything I wanted last year. The Rolex was definitely my number one pick for years. Um, but there are some pieces still from Cartier that I would like to get. Um, I'm still going back and forth on the um, Cartier um, Love Cuff or the slim um, bangle that goes all the way around the wrist. But the, um, the one that you can't take off is completely, that's off the shelf. That's not happening. It's gorgeous. I love it when I see it on other people, but no, it's just not, um, it's not for me. And the other thing that I would like from Cartier is the love necklace. There's two really small diamonds on it and um, it's just really feminine and um, I just think it's just beautiful. And I went back and forth with getting that over my Just Unclue ring uh, for my birthday last year from my husband. I was like debating that. So I think I would like to add those to Cartier pieces and that's really all that I can think of. And um, I don't know, like I said, if any of it will even happen. And if it doesn't, that's okay. I'm really happy with everything I have right now, but um, I think wish lists are fun. It's fun to dream. It's fun to try stuff on and uh, it's just fun. I like watching other people's too. Well, I hope you have an amazing day and I hope to talk to you again very soon. Take care, bye-bye.